Good morning, Tree Church kids. It's time for another exciting lesson. Today, we're talking about the power of our words and pleasing God with those words. We're gonna have an exciting lesson just showing us how to do that and the power of that and how that can even lead to our happiness. And then we're going to do some memory verse fun. And as always, we'll end in prayer time. Get ready, here we go. This is Daniel. Here's a super fast version of his high road story. Daniel loved God. He prayed to God alone in his room three times a day. Daniel worked for the king. Some of Daniel's co-workers were jealous of Daniel and how much the king liked him. They wanted to get Daniel fired. They tried to prove that Daniel was bad at his job or did bad things, but they couldn't. Daniel was a really good guy. Instead, they tricked the king into making a law that said no one could pray to God, and if they did, they'd get thrown into a den of hungry lions. Daniel's choice was hard, but he took the high road. He continued praying to God daily. He was going against the law and the king he really liked. The king was sad, but he had to follow his law and throw Daniel into that lion's den. But don't worry. Daniel chose God's way and God protected Daniel. An angel came and closed the mouths of those hungry lions. They didn't even touch Daniel. Those wild hungry animals became harmless as kittens. God honored Daniel and his high road choices. Remember those bad guys that got Daniel into all this trouble? Well, they made some pretty low road choices and the king had them and their families thrown into the same den of lions for what they'd done to Daniel. But this time, those kitty attitudes were gone and those lions were hungry and mad. So we can learn a lot from Daniel. He was a high road hero. What a great time we've had today. Let's pray. God, thank you that our words matter to you, that you tell us to talk to you constantly. You love to hear our voices and our words. So help us to use those same thought processes and that same kindness and gentleness when we talk to you that as when we talk to others. Help us to remember that our words do matter and that you care about what we say to other people and how we say it. God, guide these kids this week, help them um, have joy in their hearts so that the, then that comes out as 
happy words from their mouths. We love you so much, Father, and we pray all this in your mighty name. And everyone says, Amen. Guys, I love you. Use positive, wonderful, loving words this week. We'll see you next week. Hugs and blessings.